It was a long three weeks, but the Super Mario Bros. movie has finally made it to Japan. I saw the movie on opening day here on Friday, April 28th, and I really enjoyed it. People are excited and the movie has been pretty well received here. But that doesn't mean this release isn't without some controversy. Albeit very light controversy. Well, today we're going to take a deep dive into the Japanese release of the Super Mario Bros. movie with a boots on the ground look from Japan. We'll discuss the delayed release, showings across the country in English, or lack thereof, take a look at some exclusive merch, and more. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Danny from the Famicast here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Sound off in the comments down below, and we may read it out on our bi weekly show called the Famicast. Today, though, we're going to be talking about the Japanese release of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Now you might be wondering to yourself why the Mario movie has had such a delay to release in Japan. While I'm obviously not privy to like the exact reasons or anything like that, I do have a few ideas as to why Nintendo and Illumination chose to release the, on the day that they did, on April 28th. So, if you're not living in Japan, if you're not really familiar with things here, late April to early May marks a big string of holidays in Japan known as Golden Week. Now, during this period of time of a little over a week, tons of people are out and about doing things like going on trips, going shopping, and of course, going to see movies. While they could have released this movie earlier, I think the impact just wouldn't have been as powerful. Now, having arguably your best or at least most popular product hit during the start of Golden Week is super important in Japan. I think the excitement of just having a holiday and the build-up to the movie on social media from, from people outside of the country, and just like all the stuff that was going on on TV and like social media, whatever, I think that's kind of really helped get people hyped up. Of course, a number of different theaters across the country are showing the film right now. Now, one of the biggest theater chains in Japan have done something kind of special, kind of cool. So Toho Cinemas has teamed up with both Nintendo and Illumination by decking out their largest theaters in the country with special Mario-themed seats and decorations. This is dubbed the Super Mario Brothers Movie Theater, and this is only available for a limited time from Friday, April 28th until Sunday, May 7th. These can only be found at five Toho locations across the country, uh, being in Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, Aichi, and Fukuoka. Now, I didn't get a chance to go to any of these, but it does look really cool. Now, while I'm not gonna get super deep into this, the Japanese localization of the movie got some extra care. Now, according to Nintendo, this isn't just a simple localization, but rather, as they say, a super Japanese version of the movie. So during the process of creating the English script, the Japanese script was simultaneously worked on to kind of like help aim for more natural dialogue that would be, as Nintendo said here again as well, uh, rich with the characteristics of Japanese culture. Now, as of right now, I haven't seen this version of the movie. I'm actually going to see this tomorrow, believe it or not. But there are apparently some subtle differences there. Uh, this is something that we're going to cover on our podcast, the Famicast episode 245 in depth. So be sure to check that out. Now, depending on where you live or are located in Japan, you might have a hard time finding a showing of the movie in English. Now, we actually put together a quick guide that has the locations of English showings all across Japan. So, if you're in Japan and want to see the movie in English, be sure to check that out. We're going to have that linked up in the description box below. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would somebody want to check out this film in English in Japan? Well, I mean, for me or other expats that are living uh, in Japan, I personally wanted to see the movie in my own native language. Uh, not only that, but obviously, you know, with the star-studded lineup of actors and like all that type of stuff, I was curious to see how it all came together on the big screen. I also really wanted to hear Jack Black as Bowser and all that that entails. Now, I'm totally fine checking out the movie in Japanese. And like I said previously, I'm going to. I just really wanted to see the movie in English first. Now, one thing I wanted to point out in relation to the showings. Now, of the 372 theaters playing the movie across the country, this is according to Japanese movie website ega.com, only 72 across the entire country are playing the movie in English. Now, some of these are in 2D only, while a few theaters offer things like, you know, 3D, IMAX 3D, Dolby Atmos, or Dolby Cinema 3D. Uh, big cities like Tokyo, Osaka, Yokohama, and Nagoya, they have plenty of showings here. But while other places, like where I live in Saitama, only have like two showings across the whole prefecture, some prefectures don't have any English showings, you know, whatsoever. So yeah, I mean, of course, 
being a movie targeted at families and kids, having more showings available in Japanese here in the Japanese dub, it definitely makes more sense. It's interesting to note here, too, that this really is no different uh, for, for other Hollywood animated films that are released in Japan. Uh, they usually have English showings at only a handful of locations, while the majority of things that you'll find are the Japanese dubs. With any movie, especially ones targeted at a younger audience, comes merchandise. Now, while there are a number of toys that came out here and you know, all over the world, there were some freebies that were passed out at the theater opening weekend, as well as some other items that could be purchased at theaters. Now, for early moviegoers, special Hatena books, or question mark books, were passed out for free. Now, these are handed out in blind bags and feature four designs of Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser. Now, I've nabbed two of these so far myself, and my buddy JC from the podcast checks out every two weeks if you have a chance. He managed to grab three of them too, so you can kind of see this in the footage here. Now, another staple of Japanese movie theaters are these elaborate program books. Now, these are sold at pretty much every theater in the country, and things were no different for the Super Mario Brothers movie. I actually picked up two of these, and this thing is just freaking awesome. It's full of descriptions, uh, product notes, and even gives like a look at a variety of game history and how they relate to the movie, these type of things. Like These retail for about 900 yen each, so it's not going to break the bank either. A couple other things I managed to pick up too. I mean, I got this uh, Mario Brothers movie cup <laughs> from the theater, as you can see. And I also managed to pick up a few uh, movie theme shirts from Uniqlo. And these are on sale like outside of Japan too, but I thought these were cool. So I picked up at least these two specific designs. So I thought they're awesome. Now from here, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the items in a brief showcase. Here we go. The Super Mario Brothers movie was a lot of fun. While it might not have been so much fun for those people in Japan trying to track down a theater that plays the movie in English, showings are out there, and I hope that you guys got a chance to find whichever version that you wanted to see. Now for me, the Mario movie welcomed in another awesome golden week. But let's go ahead and turn things over to you guys. Now I think by now I already know the answer to this, but did you watch the Super Mario Brothers movie? What do you think about it? Did you check it out in Japanese? Did you want to? Leave any and all thoughts down below. We'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please feel free to drop this video a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. We've got tons of podcast video reviews, looks at Japanese games and events, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.